What's up everybody, Smooth Cosplayer here, your favorite salsa dancing cosplayer. Tonight I'm tackling a subject that I wish I didn't have to, but it's still an issue, so therefore I am covering it. Uh, it's one that I am tired of seeing come up, one that I'm tired of having to explain why it's wrong, one that I'm tired of seeing people defend. A whole lot of tired going on with this. And this subject is that of race facing. And if you don't already know what race facing is, it's the act of cosplaying as a character that is a different race than you, that's not the bad part, and then changing your skin tone to match that character. Now, there are a lot of people out there who say that it's not wrong, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, trying to defend it, like I said, but here is why I have a problem with it. All right, it's 2019, 20F and 19, and people with brown skin, whether they're African American, uh, Afro Latino, you got some darker Asians, uh, basically anybody who is not fair skinned, or, or to be blunt, anybody who is not Caucasian, we all still get discriminated against. Yes, it's 2019, and that still happens. Now, when you, when I say you, I mean anyone who chooses to race face when you do that the message that you're sending even if you are not intending to send this message even if that was not what you were thinking about when you did it the message that you're sending is that uh it's okay to use this skin as a costume but yet people who actually uh are that skin tone, you know, oh, they're still less than, they're still inferior, blah, blah, blah. And again, you may not be saying that, but that's the message that comes across to us, all right? Think about this. When you race face and you put whatever it is on your skin to make you darker, you get to wash that off at the end of the day. People who are actually that skin tone don't get to wash that off. They still have to put up with all the discrimination, the ridicule, all of that that comes along with having brown skin. Now, the majority of us who are darker, we are proud of our heritage, we're proud of our skin, we would not want to wash it off, but yet, you know, we still do have to deal with a lot of stuff that comes with being darker. Now, I'm not going to spend any time on this video talking about all the reasons why that's true, why it's true that people who are darker get discriminated against. You have been living under a rock if you don't already know that, okay? So if you, by chance, don't, Go hit Google, go research, there's tons of resources out there for you to educate yourself with that. I'm not going to spend time on this video. If you've been following me for a while, you know my videos are long enough already, so I'm not going to spend time on that. And quite quite frankly, for any of us who are uh, darker skinned, uh, whatever ethnicity we come from, we are tired of having to explain why, you know, why that's true, okay? So hit Google for me, all right? So... I make the distinction between saying race face instead of saying black face. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to call it black face, but the reason why I, I uh, declined to call it black face is because someone will always make this argument. We're going to take a trip back in the memory lane a little bit, uh, or in the history rather, not, not my own memory. Uh, black face has been around since like the 1800s. No exaggeration there. It's been around for that long. And black facing was when. Uh, there were white people back then, and when I say white people, I am not talking about white people. Let's just stop right there and nip that in the bud. I am not talking about all white people. Don't even go there, all right? I'm just saying that the people who did it, they were white, okay? If you are white and you didn't blackface, I'm not talking about you, all right? So, people, they would do these shows, I believe they were menstrual shows and some other kinds of, um, and I apologize if I mispronounced that word, they would make fun of black people. They would get some shoe polish or whatever other uh, substance that they could use to darken their skin, and they would put that on their skin to mock black, black people. They, try, they would try to imitate the darkest of skin tones that black people can reach. They would uh, paint their lips lighter or do something to the lips to make their lips look bigger, um, make, try to make the noses and ears bigger, things like that. They would do this as a mockery towards black people. They would do this with the intent to mock, dehumanize, uh, ridicule, all that kind of stuff towards black people. And the people who would, uh, the argument against, uh, the argument for blackface in cosplay is that, oh, well, since blackface was originally used with the intent to ridicule black people, and I'm not using, I'm not doing it with that intent, so I, it's okay for me to do it. All right, so we're going to park here on the word intent for a second, all right? Your intentions will never outweigh 
the consequences of your actions. I'm sorry, they will never outweigh the impact of your actions. All right, let's give an example here. Let's just say we're at the same convention together one day and I accidentally bump into you. I make you drop your prop, your prop, your prop breaks, your prop shatters, um, or I knock a piece of your costume off and that breaks, or I ruin your body paint, so on and so forth. Now, my intentions tell you that I was not being a jerk when I did that, that I wasn't trying to, you know, to, to damage your stuff. But my intentions don't outweigh the fact that now you gotta redo that prop. You gotta save up that same amount of money again to buy that prop again. Or you gotta redo whatever it is that you just did. Okay, my intentions don't erase that. I could have just ruined your con because you know you might have had a photo shoot coming up later and now you can't go to it. Or you know, whatever the case may be. You know, my intentions don't erase all of that. Let's go with a, a, a more extreme example. Let's just say when I get done with this video, I go get in my car, I go drive somewhere, I accidentally hit you. My intentions don't erase whatever the results of that accident were, whether it was just a fender bender or I made you total your car, uh, you had to go to the hospital, God forbid you lose a life or somebody else in your car lost their life. Again, that's an extreme example. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to get morbid there either, but my intentions won't erase any of that, okay? So miss me with the intentions, all right? Because your intentions may have been good, pure, whatever, but this whole group of people, is still offended by it, it's still hurt by it. All right, understand that there's a whole, like centuries worth of pain behind not just the act of black facing, but just being discriminated against because of your skin color, okay? Centuries of hurt, okay? And so a lot of people will say, oh, well, I mean, moving past the whole intentions thing, you know, they'll say, oh, well, this is my art, okay? This is my art, this is fun. My art shouldn't be restricted. My art shouldn't have rules around it. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Of course, yes, you can do what you wanna do. You know, you got, you got the freedom to do that, but just understand you're putting your own freedom, your own fun, your own art above the hurt of a whole group of people. And I'm, I'm not just talking about um, black people. I'm not just talking about African-Americans, uh, Af Afro-Latinos. Um, people from the Middle East, people in Asia who are darker, anybody who has darker skin, that's a whole lot of pain behind that. And it's not just to do with slavery, it's not just to do with America, because I hear this excuse a lot of times, oh well, my country, this isn't a problem in my country, racism doesn't exist in my country, racism doesn't exist in your country most likely because, you know, you live in a country where 90 plus percent of the people look alike, okay? So, y'all, again, y'all can miss me with that whole, uh, oh, it doesn't exist in my country. Anti-blackness, which again, is basically just boils down to discrimination against people who are darker. Every ethnicity that has people of, of, of differing uh, shades, the darker ones have always been looked down upon, made to seem like they're inferior, looked, up, looked down upon, made to feel like they're less than. That has been global, it's not just in the States, okay? And it's been going on for centuries, all right? Since been going on, since been going on, since been going on. All right, so there probably are some people who are ignorant to that. There probably are a few people who don't know that, but for the most part, nine times out of nine and a half, you probably already know that that's the thing, okay? so. The excuse that this isn't a thing where I am or I didn't know, it's possible that you didn't know, but it's not likely, okay? So this whole anti-blackness thing has been a thing for a long time, okay? So that's why, in my opinion, doing race space is wrong, okay? I'm gonna to continue to tackle a few more um, things that come up when it comes to race space. People say, oh, well, well, if you're telling me I can't race face and you're telling me you're telling me I can't cosplay somebody who's not the same race as me, no, I'm not saying that. Okay. The problem with that is a lot of you, when I say again, you people who choose to race face, a lot of you have this accuracy above all else, accuracy, um, accuracy at all costs mindset. Okay. In my personal opinion, the person inside the cosplay has nothing to do with the action. I'm sorry, the um, accuracy of the cosplay okay as long as that costume was accurate to me then the cosplay is accurate excuse me so only people who feel like oh well every little ounce every little inch of this thing has to be accurate feel like oh well I got a black face in order to uh, be accurate to a darker skin character no you don't I have seen plenty of people who are not the same shade as the characters they're cosplaying as, I've seen them just kill their cosplay without 
you know, using race space, okay? One of the best storms that I've seen, I'm not saying the best, but one of the best storm cosplayers I've seen was a white woman. She killed it. Did not darken her skin at all. She nailed it, all right? Uh, one of my friends who, uh, he and his wife and a friend of his, they all cosplayed as Michonne from uh, Walking Dead and her two zombie bodyguards. And didn't darken their skin at all. They were clearly a white, you know, white version of them, and they killed it. As a Walking Dead fan myself, I saw that and lost my mind. I loved it. Okay, lost my mind in a good way. I'm like, they killed it. Didn't have to darken their skin at all. If your if your costume is on point, if your if your cosplay is legit, if it's fire, it, it don't matter. You don't need to darken your skin for it. Okay, and the the majority of the time, to be really real, nobody looks good. In, 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 uh, in race face, okay? When you paint your skin a, a darker color, it don't look good. It just doesn't. I'm be real real with y'all, okay? You, you're making, and, and another, another thing, let me back up a little bit. Another reason why it's offensive to people of color is that when people who race face, they get, they get these accolades, they get praised for putting this dark skin on but yet people who actually have that dark skin still get ridiculed, okay? How are you gonna get praised for wearing my skin and then I actually got the skin and can't get rid of it and I get ridiculed for it, all right? That's why we feel so hurt by that. That's why we're so offended by that. And again, because it's such a, a long history of that, because we've been discriminated against for so long, that's not something you can just tell somebody to, just, oh, just get over it. Oh, you're being petty, just get over it. Why can't you let stuff say in the past? You don't tell somebody that for something that is long, that, something that went on for so long. I'm not just talking about slavery, I'm just talking about the overall uh, discrimination. Something that had gone on for so long, you know, you don't tell somebody to just get over that, all right? So another thing that comes up is, oh, well, so this person uh, cosplayed as the Hulk and they painted their skin green, so why can't I paint my skin brown to cosplay a black person? Y'all don't realize how dehumanizing that is. You are taking brown skin, someone who is at uh, the skin of someone who actually exists on this earth, and comparing it to someone who turned green because of an experiment, experiment gone bad. Someone whose skin is red because they're a demon, talking about Hellboy, or, you know, Nightcrawler Mystique. People who are blue because they're mutants, okay? You know, someone who is the color white, the literal color white, like Lobo, he's an alien, okay? He's a literal color white, okay? You know, those skin tones are not earthbound skin tones, and it's very dehumanizing to compare someone, the skin tone of someone who actually exists on this earth to someone, to a skin tone that doesn't exist, okay? That's why that's hurtful to us. That question by itself is hurtful. But also I say that to show y'all where the line actually is. If the skin tone exists on earth, don't do it. If it doesn't, it's fair game. Like I said, the Hulk is green because of gamma radiation, okay? Uh, Nightcrawler is blue because he's a mutant. Blink is pink because she's a mutant. Um, Starfire is orange because she's an alien, okay? Domino is the color white, the literal color white, and I bring her up because I do a gender bend of Domino and I do that myself. But that color white, the literal color white, doesn't exist on Earth, okay? That doesn't match anybody who actually lives right now on Earth, okay? Even Caucasian people, even um, even white people have to use white skin uh, face paint to match Domino, okay? That, that that color doesn't literally exist, okay? That's why that is. So hopefully that clears things up for y'all, all right? So uh, one more thing before I get done ranting here. I know I've been ranting for a long while. Uh, there's, uh, if you're a person of color and you don't, and you're not offended by race face, good, good for you. I give you a cookie, but don't come in somebody else's uh, conversation or post, social media post saying, oh, well, I'm not offended by it, so nobody else should be, okay? Understand that you are the exception to the rule if you are a person of color and you're not offended by this. I'm not telling you you're wrong for not being offended by it, but don't go trying to spread it to everybody else that it's okay just because you aren't offended by it, okay? And also, don't come with this uh, high and mighty attitude acting like, okay, well, I'm a person of color, but I'm not offended by it. I'm above such things, and everybody else is just being petty. Have a seat, all right? 
do, do not contribute that to the conversation. You're not helping. All right. That's it, y'all. Uh, I will stop there because I, I could keep going on and on about this subject. But uh, oh, and side note, uh, the comments for this are going to be closed because I've, uh, I've said my piece on this already. And any responses that I could give to any comments will pretty much be a repeat or a remix of what I've already said. Uh, and then also, just in case this thing goes left, I am not interested in trying to regulate the comments on that. So, um, y'all can have your own opinions on this. Feel free to disagree with me. You know, have your own opinions. Your opinions just won't be in my inbox. Uh, discuss it among yourselves. Share whatever do you. But it's, I'm not trying to put out any fires in the um, in the comments. So that's why this is closed. Say what you will about it. That's what I decided to do. Uh, but that is it for me tonight, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Have a good time at whatever con you're going to next. Have a good uh, have a good look on your cosplay bills. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Hit that notifications button. And I will see y'all at the next video. Peace.